<laughs> I actually have one story. Yay! Once upon a time, in the village of Agingu, there lives. Both, come here, both of you. Come, on, settle down, settle down. <laughs> settle down. Boy, Come and sit down and listen to this story. Dad, I have a meet up with my friends. My friend, better come and sit down. As the next story will be about you. Once upon a time, a father breaks his son's head. <laughs> Everybody, settle down. Pay attention. Dad, I hope there's no one of your Nigeria versus India football matches. Makaku. So settle down and pay attention. I want to tell you the great story about the legend of the slippers. Hmm. Legend of slippers. Yes. Legend of the slippers. <laughs> Once upon a time, in the village of Agingu, there lives a great man whose name is Iche Mangene. Ichi Nguangene was loved by the entire villagers because he was a successful businessman and he was able to amass so much wealth because of his business of goats and cows. richest man in the entire village. Aww. What? Um, is his name on the first magazine? Because I can't even find it here. <laughs> no. His name is in the village magazine. <laughs> Can I continue my story now? Yes, please. Mr. Wangene, mm, sorry, Ichi Wangene, being the richest man in the village, married the most beautiful woman of the clan. Chemwangene has everything going on for him. He has a very successful business. He has the most beautiful wife in the clan. Whatever you can name, he has it. Does he have free Wi-Fi? Right? Chemwangene has everything going on for him. He has a beautiful wife in the village. His business is booming. He has everything going on for him. But there is one thing missing. A good internet connection. Hadibi, I know you now. I give you a dirty slap. What do you want? <laughs> Mr. Wangene, Ichi Wangene, has everything going on for him. But there is one problem. Let's have it. Let's have it. He has a stubborn son. Papa, leave me alone. Papa, leave me alone. Papa, leave me alone. Obiato, come back here. Obiato, come back here. Papa, leave me alone. I said, come back here. Eh? OK. You want to try me, eh? Obiato. Obiato, you're trying me. I said, come back here. I will kill this boy. I will kill this boy. OK, come down. Come down. Come down. I brought him into this world, and I can take him out. Obi, eh? Eh? Why you? Why you? Eh? OK. Why you? Eh? You will meet me in this house. I brought you to this world and I'll take you out. That sounds very familiar. Obiozo, keep quiet. Obiozo was a very stubborn boy. 
He refused to attend the village school. He refused to join his father in his business. All he does was walk about the village causing trouble. Wangene tried everything possible but to no avail. He even went to the great native doctor. My son! Yes, what? Your son is possessed with a strong evil spirit. I knew it. If you want to free him, you must be ready to offer a heavy sacrifice. Wise one, whatever it is, I am ready to do it. I want that boy to be useful. My son, like I said, you must be ready to make a heavy sacrifice. Offer a heavy sacrifice. You will bring your pussy. Oh, Are you playing? Mangara. Hey, oh, go. <laughs> Wise one, should I just prepare a goosey soup? <laughs> uh, I'll prepare a goosey soup for the boss. He did all the sacrifices that was required. Did it work? No. Ah. In fact, the boy became worse. Hey. And Ichi Wangene was frustrated. Until one day, he came in contact with an old woman that gave him a great gift. My son, I know what you've been going through. <laughs> Take this. It will help you. What be this? What be? What be this? What be this? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Ha <laughs> ha, blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. What did the elderly woman do? Slippers. Jesus. Slippers. How slippers help him train his child? Obiazo, take the keg and go to the stream and fetch water. <laughs> Papa, leave me alone. Obioso, I said, take this keg. Go to the stream and fetch water. Papa, I said, leave me alone. Ah. Obioso, take this keg. Go to the stream and fetch water. Papa, leave me alone. Papa, leave me alone. Thank you for doing for me what I did not do for myself. Lived happily ever after. Wow! What a nice story. Wait, wait, wait. This story sounds new. How can an ordinary sleeper change someone's character? Huh? <laughs> yes, ordinary sleepers cannot change someone's character. Thank you. Josh, go upstairs and get my hat. No, it sounds it sounds strange because an ordinary sleeper cannot change somebody's character. Josh, I said go upstairs and get my hat. Let the waiter know that standing. It sounds okay, 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 okay. <laughs> God have mercy upon us. <laughs> you see, that, my girls, is the legend of the sleeper. <laughs> no, I see. 
next on Living With Dad. <laughs> the video you watched yeah all right thanks for watching that video i hope you enjoyed it see you in two days with another interesting episode in every two days we give you different series on this channel so in two days time come back to watch another interesting episode of a new series and next week the series you just watched right now come back by this time next week to watch another episode the next episode i am very very sure you will be on this channel every day trust me subscribe tell your friends about this subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any episode see you in two days and next week what am i saying see you <laughs>